Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today, we're going to be taking a look at creating wine bottle package design under Illustrator. To begin with, we'll first create the close-up design using rectangle tool and use ellipse tool to create the labels. Then, we'll add gradient color using the gradient tool, add title text with a nice grain texture. For the second design, we're going to be using 3D Revolve to get the shape of the bottle and to add a glossy effect, We'll use some shapes. And finally, place the levels in the middle. So let's begin with a tutorial. Open a new Illustrator document, increase the width area using the Arbo tool. Now select the rectangle and draw the rectangle filling half of the Arbo area. We'll give it a fill color using the color picker tool. Select dark gray color and click OK. Next, we'll draw one more rectangle which will be used to add glossy effect. We'll apply gradient color. So click on this icon to apply gradient. Now under gradient panel, we'll do some adjustments. Double click on the left slider and change the color to light gray. Then we'll shift the color balance on the right to give a nice blend to our design. This way we have added a thickness to the bottle, also a shiny surface effect. Next, we'll create the labels for the bottle. So using the ellipse tool, draw the circle. To do some modification with the shape, go to effect, web and choose inflate. Here we'll decrease the blend percent to 18 to add a little flatness to all the sides. Then go to object and apply expand appearance. This will convert it into fill object. Next, with a little increase in size, place the shape around here. Now we'll apply gradient, so click on the gradient icon to open the gradient panel. Here we'll add one more color slider and change its color to light gray. Also increase the volume of your black color by adjusting these sliders. After this, change the black color to dark gray. Next, create a duplicate of the circle using the shortcut Command or Ctrl C to copy and Command or Ctrl F to paste in front. Then scale on the top circle, leaving a thin border area. Now select the back circle and change its gradient direction. By doing this, you are giving a feel of thickness to your design. Next, we are going to be creating a duplicate. So select both the shapes and with the ALT pressed, click and drag. Now select the top circle of a duplicated shape and change the middle slider color to darker orange, right slider color to yellow and the left slider color to light yellow. The bright color represents the light intensity and the dark color represent the shadows. So this will add a 3D depth to the design. Now select the back circle and apply the same gradient color using the eye picker tool. Click and drag to change the direction of the gradient. We can also do some adjustment with the color. So add some brightness to each of the three color sliders. This will add a little highlight to the edges. Next, we'll add a title. So type our text. We'll be using three different types of fonts. Angsana New for Wine, Nidavadi for Flask and Nexa Light for Premium. Next, change the blend mode to soft light for the text flask. This will blend it with the background. To increase the visibility, add one more duplicate on top using the keyboard shortcut Command or Control C to copy and Command or Control F to paste in front. Then change the layer mode to overlay. Do the same for the wine text. Apply overlay, then create a duplicate and change it to soft light. For the premium, we'll only apply soft light. Now let's do some adjustments with the background color by adding little darkness. Next we'll apply texture. So select the shape and go to effect texture grain. We'll add grain effect to the surface. Set the intensity to 27 and the contrast to 43 and click OK. We'll do the same for the second surface also. So select and apply grain with the intensity 43 and the contrast 43. Let's do some adjustments with the size and the placement. Next, we'll create a background bottle. So select the rectangle tool and draw the rectangle. Fill it up with black color. Now we'll do some tweaking with the shape. So first of all, we'll add few more anchor points using the anchor point tool. Click one here and the other there. Now using the Dive Selection tool, drag in the top two anchor points. 
To make the corner rounds, select the anchor point and you can see this circular icon. If you click and drag it, it will make the corners smooth. Do the same for the other corners. Next, select the shape and go to Effect 3D Revolve. On the Revolve panel, first take the Preview option. Then change the offset direction to right edge. And lastly, set all the angles to zero. Now go to Object and Expand Appearance. This will convert it into a flat surface. To combine all the shapes, go to Pathfinder and click this icon. Now we'll create a highlight for the design. So with the all pressed, click and drag the shape to create a duplicate. Change its color to white. Now again create one more duplicate on top. Scale up the size and place it around here. Now selecting both the top shapes, click on the minus front icon under Pathfinder. This will subtract the top surface from the bottom. Ungroup it and delete the unwanted pieces. Now using a knife tool, give two cut at this corner. Then delete out the in-between shapes. We'll draw out two more shapes using the pen tool. Try to maintain the flow of the bottle. Now select all the shapes and using the eye picker tool, pick a gradient color from the previous design. And now individually, adjust the direction of the gradient using the gradient tool in such a way that the darker ends are pointed toward the neck of the bottle. Now select the previously designed labels and create a duplicate. Place it in front of our second design and scale on the size in proportion to the bottle. Select the second circular shape and change its gradient color from orange to gray scale under gradient panel. Try to achieve little lighter color tone. Now to add a little depth of field, select all the shapes from the second design and group it up. Now go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur to apply blur to the design. Set the radius to around 12 pixel and click OK. This will add a nice depth of field. Next, to hide the unwanted shapes which are outside of the artboard, we need to use clipping mask. So first select all the shapes in the artboard and group it up. Then create a rectangle same size of the artboard. The rectangle should be on top. Now select the group and the rectangle and apply clipping mask. This will hide out all the shapes which are not included in the rectangle. We can do further adjustments in Photoshop. So click and drag into a new Photoshop document, scale up the size and crop out the empty space. Now give a realistic depth of field. We'll use tilt shift option, set the direction to perpendicular and set the blur value to 6. This way we have created a wine bottle package design under illustrator. It's clean and very easy to create. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.